Hey, welcome to the chicken coop. You know I'm real excited because we're going to have eggs soon. All I have to do is go out back. Hey, what is the first question you need to ask yourself when you decide you want a chicken coop? It's how many chickens can you have on your property? So you need to go find that out first. And after that, where are you going to put it? I decided to put it back with my rabbits to make it easier for cleanup and it's underneath trees. I have a pine tree, my red grapefruit. So once you decide that, now you decide what kind of a style you want. I decided on the raised because of the heat. They need shelter so they can go underneath and have shelter under the chicken coop. Pretty simple, right? Uh, Let's go look at the frame again and how I built it. Okay, here's the beginning framed out part of the chicken coop. So, it's getting there. I have it back with the rabbits. And it's all framed out. There's the reefer. So, looking good. It's just another angle. See a big open spot there is the door to get in. And it's coming along. And over here is the nesting box framed out. And as you can see, everything's treated underneath because of the weather. But everything inside the coop non-treated. Okay, let's just go over this real quick. As you see, uh, I have it put a metal roof on there and it's vented on three sides real well because of the heat here in South Texas. Summertime. And then here we go. Here's the door in the front. A little roof. And over here's the box. So we'll go over that later. But I just want to get a little view here. And again, there's the vents. You can see the glow in there. Chicks are inside. Hey, it's simple. You just have fun. All right. Now, inside, what I did, as we all call it, it's the open floor plan. Yeah, open floor plan is what? Your dining room, your kitchen, your bedroom, oh, and the bathroom is in one room. Let's go look at the open floor plan inside. Okay, here's the inside of the hen house. Over there I have the box closed off for now. And I got to get a heat lamp. And uh, as you see, it's vented up top. It's going to be hot in the summer here in South Texas. Corpus Christi. So, we are really good to go. And I put some linoleum down. The bottom. And I have this little board just tacked up here. Uh, so the little chicks, when you open up the door, they don't come out. Remember, have fun building it and cover your mistakes up. Let's go over here to mo one of the important spots is the egg box. It's on this side. Let's go over here. All right, now we're over here at the egg box. Now, what I did is the strip here is that goes under a threshold. We have two pieces of linoleum going together so it doesn't peel up and that caulked it. But this rubber, okay, is the rubber that's underneath uh, a garage door okay the sealer so and it's pretty wide but if you look real closely on here it uh the ends have it's a t on each end i cut those off because they'd be underneath here i wanted to make it flat and uh it wouldn't get in the way it'd be too thick so that's what the rubber is and I extended it out on each side because when the rain hits here, it runs down, 
okay? You want to keep it as dry as possible. And when you come over to the box, you're going to have a little basket or something. Well, when you open it up, you got to have a little clip. Something to hold it up, right? And now you can work. Oh, there's no eggs yet. All right. Soon, they're working on it. But uh, make it convenient for yourself. Waterproof. Shelter. All right. Outside, I had to paint it right away because this is not treated wood. Anything inside here is not treated. So I had to paint it to protect it from the elements. I hope you decide soon yourself to build a chicken coop. We all should have one. You have your eggs in your backyard. I mean, the hardest thing is maybe teaching the chicks how to cook breakfast. Nah. But, you know, build a chicken coop. Have fun. We only live once, right? Hey, from Gino's Garden, happy cooping. Ciao, baby. Where's those eggs? I don't see them.